I'm back to do another um, what's going out tomorrow in the post. All of this has been sold since Thursday lunchtime, I think it is, or Friday. Well, it's in the last couple of days. It's basically our weekend sales and this is everything. There's 50 items in total and I'll get started. Uh, first things first, I'll do some breakables. Uh, incense holder, mosaic thing with a pack of incense sticks, white musk. We're just getting rid of these. We had these uh, elsewhere for sale and we just need them cleared down. We've also sold these two paperweights. Hang on. They're really cute. These two um, paperweights sold for, I've got a lot of things on my list, so you have to bear with me while I find them. They sold for, uh, the mosaic sold for £8.49. It's just to get rid of it. Um, we don't really want to hang on to those for too long. Uh, these cost £6.12, sold for 18 These are in a job lot. Um, we didn't buy the job lot for these, so these are just what we call fodder, just to get rid. And here's another paperweight. Reminds me of the crystal maze. And um, this sold for... Just bear with... This is going to get annoying. Why can't I find it? Oh, here we go. Cost price £2.13, sold for £13.99. And these are Simon's sort of pride and joy. He bought these from the auction. I know I'm supposed to be looking at the camera. Um, but I'm scrolling. Um, once again, I'll just remind you, these are unedited videos. I'm only doing videos if they don't need editing because I just can't be bothered. Um, so you have to bear with me on these. But these are Gobel figures. He bought these uh, as a job lot. They cost £6.48 each. This little guy sold for £23.74 and this one sold for £45. So they'll need wrapping well. I think they're going to the same person. Yes, they are. So obviously a collector. So that's the end of the breakables. Then what I'll move on to what I call smellies. These are in a job lot. Uh, Champneys, little pick-me-up. I haven't worked out the cost price yet because I've still got loads from the same lot to list. Um, but they're going to work out three quid max. Um, they sold for 18 99 something else that sold from a job lot of beauty are these two packs of suntan lotion and i've gone too far on my list here we go they again a couple of quid each they sold for 27.50 another one is this deodorant balm this Cost again a couple of quid, seventeen pounds. We sold it for, and then I've got this bundle of hand wash, and uh, I think it's hand wash, hand hand cream. So like handbag size hand cream, and then one for like New Year's sink. Uh, these were a couple of quid, and they sold for thirty five. That's all the smellies. Now I think I told you in the last video. I'm really proud of these. We sold. Well, I bought these for 32p each and we've sold 24 of them over the weekend at 16.99. Super happy with those. I won't show you every single one, but there's a whole pile there. And moving on to let's go to <laughs> this. Now it's a Skechers shoe, Skechers shoe, and we only had one. We had unluckily is that a word unluckily unlucky for us we got some odd shoes in a bundle of shoes so i thought well people with one leg have to wear shoes still or like to wear shoes still or a shoe uh, so we're selling them as amputee shoes we've sold a few already this cost 206 selling it for 9.99 which is better than going in the bin which it may well have done another good sale is this head torch this cost £1.69 and we sold it for 60 quid. Brand new, unused. These Galaxy Projector Lights did really well for us in the run up to Christmas. 
Um, you just plug them in and they put pretty patterns on the ceiling. This one sold for, well no, we bought it for, oh dear, we bought it for £9 and 7p. It was part of a job lot where some other items were really high priced and we sold it for £19.99. There was three altogether, not great money in it at all, but we know that they sell. Got loads of these lash sets and this is the first one to sell. Again, I don't know if I've worked out the cost price yet because I've still got things from the bundle to list because what I do is if I, I list the exciting things first and then if there's anything else left, I sort of bundle it together. So this one um, was one that was worth listing and I can't find it on my list. This isn't great, is it? Ah, here we go. Oh, £3.76 was the cost price and sold it for £16.99. This has to be the sale of the weekend. Simon bought this not that long ago, actually. It sold today. He paid £169.20 for it and it sold for £449. It's a wireless transmitting microphone. It's to do with um, hearing aids. So that will go UPS. <laughs> now these two, this here, we've got two of these that have sold, was sat on our shelf upstairs for probably 18 months and it's the Frasier box set, DVD box set, but there was one missing. So we'd obviously kept it to one side in the hope that we find the missing disc in a charity shop at some point. And we put it on the shelf and we must have gone and bought another one thinking, yeah, we can make up a pack. So we got two. Turns out they both had the exact same disc missing. So, <laughs> and we didn't realise. So they've been sitting there for that long. So we listed them both. One was a cost price of a fiver. The other one, let me see if I can find it easier. Ah, here you go. One cost price 750, sold for 1709. And the other one was cost price five pounds and we sold it for 17.09 better than sitting on our on our shelves upstairs put those on the floor this was a great buy this was in a bag of items it's a pelvic or pelviva pelvic floor muscle retrainer brand new thank goodness cost price six pounds 17 sold it for 39.99 this was good or these were good so these are citadel paintbrushes so like for painting warhammer sets that sort of thing but they were in a job lot of makeup bits and bobs so whoever made up the job lot must have thought they were makeup brushes worked out a cost price of £3.76 and we sold them for 39 99 they were listed three days they went for full price These are just red stiletto shoes, Graceland, nothing special. I didn't source them especially. They were in a job lot of shoes that we had. They've sold before and come back, so they were too small. The cost price was £7.09p and, and they sold for £8.99, so not great, but the shoes that were in the bundle, job lot that we bought, were really good. And then you just end up with a couple of rubbish pairs that are still worth selling, but you don't make any money on them. Some boomerang jeans, so these have gone out a couple of times and come back. So I completely changed the listing last week. Um, fresh listing, they're a cost price of £10, Edwin jeans, and we sold them for £34.99. Let's hope they don't come back. This sold, or these sold just this afternoon actually. They are. Uh, a two pack of inflatable food fight bucking bronco pool floats and they they're going GSP to Denmark I think we paid £7.33 and they sold for £16.20 they would have been in a job lot of toys that we got we don't sort of go out of our way to buy pool toys um, but we have had them in the past and they do sell quite quick We've got so many hats at the moment. If you're in need of a hat, give us a shout. This hat is like a silk that you wear over your horse riding helmet. 
this sold well this cost two pound 47 and it sold for 20 it's brand new with tags and the next one is pajamas they're on the list somewhere i'm going to have a drink Here we go, they sold to the same person. I listed them separately, although they sort of go together, they're different sizes. So the bottoms are large, the top is medium. They're Carol Hockman. Now she, her stuff goes into Costco, it's quite popular. Uh, they cost 59p each, and we sold together for 23 pounds. Brand new tags. Now these shocked me when I saw these. These are touchscreen mittens, for, but they're tiny. They're, I don't know what size they are. Does it say what size they are? Age two to four years, but they're so tiny. A, a child that needs to wear mittens and be able to operate a phone, I think it's slightly worrying. The cost price on these was seven pound and five P because I bought a whole load of golf gloves and they fly. These were just in the bottom, so we didn't make any money on these, made a loss, sold them for six pounds, but I'm glad they're gone. This top that I'm about to show you has been hanging around for ages. It's a Bowden top, it's got silk in it, size 18, it's not brand new. It cost me five pounds and it sold for 10, because I just wanted to get rid of it. We've had that since July, so we'd have lowered the price on that one. This is a scarf. We have lots of scarves at the moment. This is going somewhere abroad. I'm not sure where. And this cost £2.90 and we sold it for £14. It's just like an Amazon private label item. Not our private label, but it's someone on Amazon. Ah, Scouser wig. <laughs> Sorry, if, I hope that's, you don't find that offensive, but that's what they're called. I haven't called it that. Um, we had loads of these in a job lot of like party and fancy dress bits and bobs. It's officially called a Scouser wig and that sold, we've had loads, we've sold quite a few and they're still selling in lockdown. It cost 18p and it sold for 6 99 We have here some sportswear. Now these, I think they're arm warmers. I don't know if that's the official name for them they are called montane via arm guard and they're extra small small they cost one pound 87 for the pair and they sold for 18 pound brand new as well another scarf this was in a job lot of scarves it's hammond and co patrick grant off the sewing bee and this was one pound 93 brand new tags sold for 13 pound 45 I called these sweatbands, but I think they're just they're just wristbands. They're sort of um, they've got on the side of them the Raven, the Raven Age. It's some heavy metal rock band um, merchandise. These cost us. Oh, I haven't worked out the cost price yet because I'm still listing from the bag. Probably pence, and they sold for eight ninety nine. They'll just fit in a large letter envelope. Some socks, these are sketches, sort of uh, secret socks as people call them, the ones that you can't see. And these are missing a pair. So these were sold at Costco, or they sell these at Costco. Um, and there's a pair of white missing, hence why they ended up in a job lot to sell. These cost three pound eight, three pound and seven P, and they're sold for eight pounds. They're going GSP somewhere, exotic probably. A Brora top, I've had this for ages and I've been getting rid or declining offers left, right and centre that are silly. The cost price was £6.20 and it sold for £22.50 and it's linen. Had that since November. I think I got that the last time we went sorting because we've been in lockdown where we are for a very long time. Um, a pair of Calvin Klein knickers, brand new without tags. Again, I think these are from Costco. They've probably come out of a multi-pack that's got split open in the shop. It cost £3.07 and sold these for £12.34. 
Some more underwear, again, Costco probably, £3.7p, so these are £12.99. It's a multi-pack, there's actually only two pairs in there, so two must have got pulled out in the shop, went missing, and they ended up being sold to me. <laughs> Had this a while, it's a Marks and Spencer's collection, brand new with tags, men's baseball cap, it's made of wool, and this was... £1.33 and it sold for £15. That would have been in a job lot of hats. Another hat, Bart's, it's quite a good brand. Brand new of tags, we paid £3.32 and I took an offer on £24. And I've got a message, wow, amazing and quick response. Much appreciated as buying this for my mum and she was able to see she'd won the item and was delighted. Oh, made someone happy. Thermal socks, sold two packets to the same person. They cost £2.82 a pack, so six quid, just under six quid, and we sold those for £30. I think they're going GSP. Some gloves, do really, really well with gloves. North Skin gloves, £3.25 cost price, £7 sale price. Not great, they would they were in a job lot. I've never heard of North Skin, but I think these must have been in the golf club bag that I bought. Golf gloves and bag that I bought. Had these a long time. Vans. They are like a maroon colour. They cost me God, I think I must have got them in the summer. They cost me. There we go, six pounds sold them for 10.99. I remember buying three pairs of vans all at the same time from the same trouser, and the first two pairs flew, made really good money on them. And they were bigger, they were bigger sizes. That pair is a size seven. I got them in August, so they were just we just wanted rid of them. Uh, sold quite a few pairs of shoes this weekend. It's a, like I kind of sort of was not going to buy any more shoes for a while because we haven't sold any for a while because people just aren't really wearing shoes other than trainers and slippers, I don't think. Um, but then this weekend, the shoes have started selling because we sold a pair of sandals. Now, these have already been sold once and come back because they didn't fit. They're Clark's Obia sandals. And these cost uh, £5 and they sold for 16 88 which isn't great. We would have... That 16.88 was an offer that we sent out because we normally list things at something, well, like 10.99, 20.99, whatever. I've always put 99p on the end. Um, so yeah, they have gone finally. And then the next thing, I don't know if I can lift it. Yes, I can. Is this saucepan set. Had it a while. It's brand new, unused. Star for it, the rock. 10 piece cookware set, really, really good quality. Uh, I don't know when we sold this. It, I took an offer because I just wanted it gone. It was taking up too much room. And we've got a load of saucepan sets. And this one cost £82.60 and we sold it for 115 So not great, uh, but we tried. We've done well with other saucepan sets, but I'm glad it's going and it's really heavy, so it will go UPS. And then a couple of other bits that have sold that I haven't got here, purely because oh, this one we've sold a PS4 game, it cost two pound eleven, sold for five pound eighty four. That Simon likes buying sort of bulk job lots of computer games and DVDs. That would have just been um, what we call fodder stuff that we didn't really want, but it was part of the set anyway. So that's been sold along with um, oh, Gibson's Jigsaw Puzzle. It's sold on eBay, but it's in Amazon FBA. So we cross list a lot of our Amazon listings to eBay. And when someone buys it on eBay, it automatically gets dispatched from the Amazon warehouse. We don't have to do anything. I don't know how much we, bought that for, uh, 636 piece, but we sold it for 15 pounds. And was that the only one? 
I think that might be the only cross-listed. Oh no, here we go. Turtles Kimball. It's a game that we've had for ages. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And that sold for $13.99 on eBay, but it's in Amazon Warehouse, along with a Goki Goki Susie Bell collection sort box, like a little kid's toy. That sold for £7.56. So all in all, we've got 50 items that are being posted um, tomorrow, along with, well, part of that is all these calendars that were a great buy. And quite frankly, when they're sold, I'm going to be really disappointed that there aren't more because they are great. Great little earner. Uh, that's it. That's all from me. That's everything that's going out tomorrow in the post, unless a couple of things sell later on tonight. And... Like I said, this is an unedited video. I still can't say that word. And I'm gonna carry on doing them unless everyone says that I shouldn't. Uh, I just find it, a lot of people wanna know what we sell. I think it's interesting for them to see what we buy things for, what we sell things for, and you can see that it's going out. Um, so thanks for joining me and I will catch you later in the week when I'll do another video for what's going out next time. Thank you.